So I like to go to the customer credit and collections uh, workspace because it has a nice use of the analytics on there. When you first land on the workspace, you have a couple of analytics straight out straight away. But the one that is really interesting is the analytics for all companies. Now, when you first open this, Power BI is engaged and it will take a moment to open up, but you'll see the Power BI that icon come up and then it'll populate the data. So this is a full-on embedded Power BI report in Dynamics 365 F and O. If you click anywhere on the report, it will filter the data, and in some cases where configured, it will drill back to the data set, the data underlying in, in, in the records. Now this same report, like I said, can be downloaded from uh, LCS so that it can be used in conjunction with uh, Power BI Desktop. So I'm going to jump over to LCS and show you how we can actually get to it. From the asset library, we have Power BI report model. I've done it a few times, so there's a few reports that I've already pulled down. But if I one of the reports that I found in FNO was not in the list here, I can import from the list of all the metrics that are published for Dynamics 365 FNO. The one that I've downloaded is the credit and collection so that we can compare it in the desktop, the same as what we have in the user interface. When I click on this, it will download, and when I open it, it will open in Power BI desktop on my local machine. I have it open here, and you can see that this is the same report that we had displayed inside of Dynamics 365 FNO. It's interactive, so when I click on different objects, it will filter the data. Oh, looks like I got an issue on here. This report needs to be fixed up. It could be something with the data connection or it could be something with the format of Power BI Desktop. Either or, not, not really relevant to the demo here, but it is the same report that we saw in Dynamics 365 FNO.